Hello everybody, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we will learn about chapter 19.1 of your textbook, which is about integration and indefinite integrals. So indefinite integrals, if you recall from the last video, the introductory video, you will remember that um, the indefinite integrals are integrals that do not have a specific solution. So it is just a general solution. Okay, so I just write it down over here, general solution. So the one that the one that we solved, uh the one that um we say will have a a, a definite solution. Now that's called a definite integral. Okay, hence the name. So we started off with um doing in that we started off with doing differentiation of polynomials. So we will also learn how to in integrate um polynomials as well. So if you can see this form over here, they are all just different forms of writing um, polynomials. So we learn how to integrate them in this video. And also, like differentiation, um, integration also has its own general formula. Okay, so uh, whenever we write like small f, okay, so this is usually what we call the integrand. So this is like integrate fx dx equals to big F x plus c. Okay, so this indefinite integral. So this c is what we call the constant of integration. Okay, because when you differentiate a constant, you get nothing. Okay, so when you integrate, you you will get back a constant, but you don't know what this constant is. But you can solve for this constant if you are given initial conditions. Okay, this will be elaborated further. Okay, so there are also other rules like um, for example, if I have a times f x dx, and this will just the a can be if a is just a constant, then a can just be brought out of um the the integral. Okay, just like differentiation. If if for example, I have I have d dx of um let's say a function f x times a. Okay, so I can also I can also write it as a times d dx of f x. Right. So we all know this. Right. Okay. So similarly, integration you can do the same thing, but provided a is a constant and a is not related, a is not a function of x. Okay. So other rules, um, for example, plus or minus, um, you can also um split it into you know two different integration and do it, um, one, do f first and then plus or minus g. Okay. In this case. Furthermore, um, there's also other kinds of general solutions for fx. So if my fx is just axn, um, then I can also find that it will just be um, x to the power of n plus 1 and then divided by n plus 1. Okay, so if uh, if we differentiate, we decrease the part, we times the power, then we decrease it. So over here, we increase the power first, then we divide by the new power. Okay, so it's just it's just the opposite of what we have just done. Okay, and then this is the this is the chain rule one. So in the chain rule, what do we do is we do um a we do we we de we bring the power down first, and then we decrease the power by one. So it over here, what we have to do is we will just have to increase the power by one, and then bring the power down, and then don't forget because we had also, if we differentiated, we would have times by a, so if we integrate, we will have divided by a as well, okay, and not to mention, you all must always have the constant of integration for an indefinite integral, okay, so a definite integral is something like, if you write, and then there are constants over here, okay, you will see them later in the course, but what we see now, what we are concerned now is just this s thing, this elongated s. Okay, so this this is indefinite. Okay, so this is indefinite. And this is definite. Okay? So let me give you an example. Um for example I, I need to solve this equi I need to solve this thing over here. So my fx, in this case my fx is just 2x plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 4x cubed plus 5. Okay, so um, if I were to want to integrate my fx, 
oops, I forgot to write a dx over here, then I could also do it um in different parts. Okay, so I can choose to do over here first, dx plus and I also can do um oops actually this should be a negative okay never mind let me just write the negative here so take note this is a negative one I can actually bring it out also okay plus integral of 5 dx okay and then let me integrate this so remember our rule over here is we increase the power so we increase the power by 1 and then we divide by the new power and then we also divide by the constant in front of x okay plus minus 4x cubed all I have to do is minus 4 increase the power by 1 divide by the new power okay plus integral 5 dx will just be 5 x to the power of 0, that's 1. So I increase the power by 1, this is to the power of 1 actually, and then divided by the new power, but divided by 1 is just the same thing. Okay, so we don't need to do it again, and then we add a constant of integration at the back for, uh, for an indefinite integral. Okay, so let us just simplify things a little. To power six minus so this four can cancel the minus I brought it out so I'm left with x to the power of four plus five x plus the constant okay so this is my final answer all right so it's very simple let's um, pause to let you take a look okay now let's move on so this is a summary page um. If I were have so what we have learned over here is we have we have learned how to integrate um this kind of this kind of uh, x to the power of n and uh, a x plus b to the power of n so basically your chain rule and um your your um just normal polynomials in reverse okay and we have also learned some other rules like um let's say you integrate a f x dx and this one I can bring the a out and then integrate f x dx right other other rules we have we have also learned is um if I were to integrate x to the power of n dx then what I will just get is x to the power of n plus one over n plus one so basically increase the power divide by the new power okay and then the case for ax plus b to the power of n I were to integrate it for a is just a constant and all I will get is just ax plus b increase the power by 1 divided by the new power and then don't forget to divide by the a as well okay so I urge you I urge you to go and try to um do some of the do some of the questions that I will have later for you and then try to differentiate them and then see whether you get back the, the, the integration form. Okay, the form the integrand form. So this thing over here is what we call the integrand. Okay, so you differentiate this thing and see whether you get the integrand. Okay? Okay, some some problems you can try from exercise nineteen point one of your textbook. Okay, with this I end the video. Thank you very much for watching. For more videos, please visit PencilCollege.com. Thank you.